Hey guys, what up? It's Ivan Timberwolf here, and today, um, I am, I just recently modeled my own model, and we are, um, renovating our signal once again, because the gate saver broke, and we are trying to fix it right now, because, like, we are trying to make sure, we're just trying to figure out the physics of it, because it the hinge keeps on bending. So, anyways, um, I modeled this, uh, I modeled this thing in Tinkercad, which is, like, this is how I modeled it. I know it doesn't look that good, but you can actually adjust it as you see. You can adjust how good it is. I put 0 0.28 because that's the fastest time. You can see it's only two hours. But when I put 0 0.12, I'm going to slice it once again. Six hours. Um, and when I put the, the, the infill plus the support, gives it a lot of more time. You can see it's going to say around 20 hours. It's 15 hours and 39 minutes. So you just remove this, remove the support, and uh, do this. Because me and my dad want it as fast as possible. It's not going to look as good in detail, but it will still print. And it will print pretty fast without the support and stuff. And without the support, it actually might uh, be a little droopy. So we are getting the mm, 3D printer ready. Anyways, can I explain a little bit? Of what we're doing so you see this is the cover of the back of the light back of the light we're gonna use this uh, we're gonna exactly three printing it three inches like so it can fit on the back here and if you're wondering what the hole uh, there's like three holes there's also supposed to be two on each light right like right, one right here and one right here those are called the peep holes which I think extract the light from the thing for, to prevent it not to being so bright I'm not sure let me know in the comments and this part over here is where the light bulb will go. It will, this is the light bulb. It's an incandescent light bulb, and it will flash on and off as I connect it to um, a power cord. We, um, we need to, uh, me and my dad are going to try to buy a wigwag switch to make them alternate. And maybe even battery powered so I can carry it around. So, um, we are now going to be printing it, and we are going to show you after a result in about 2 hours and 43 minutes. So, I'm going to prepare the printer, I'm going to move it to ho auto home, and then I'm going to go back to main, I'm going to go to, wait for it to go to, this is an Ender 3 Pro Creatality uh, 3D printer, and it's like the best 3D printer, I give it like a 10 out of 10 solid, because it's like, it prints very good, and you can customize it, so that's amazing, really amazing. Next, I'm going to need to do prepare again, and I'm going to need to do the preheat PLA. Preheat PLA. Then it's going to heat up. You see the fan starts whirring to cool off the nozzle, and the nozzle heats up pretty fast. Meanwhile, the bed doesn't heat up as fast. It's already at 46 degrees. 51, 54, 56. Okay, so... Um, we, um, are, are gonna warm it up and print, and we'll show you the after result, and hopefully it turns out good. Bye.